years after the industry experts and businessmen in fact uh, voiced their concern Karnataka government has now put on hold a bill mandating reservation for the locals in private sector the massive backlash against the move appears to have been uh, uh, in fact it has put the state government in the back foot Chief Minister Siddaramaiah took to social media platform X uh, yesterday to announce that the bill was still in preparation stage and the final decision on it will be taken after comprehensive discussion in the next cabinet meeting now today state minister for IT industry law and labor along with legal advisor to the chief minister are expected to give more clarity over the decision in a joint press conference but remember the announcement by the state government to halt the bill comes after the state cabinet cleared the draft uh, bill and this uh, draft proposed appointment of kannadigas to 50% of the management position and 75% of the non management position in the private sector the chief minister was at the forefront of to in fact defend the bill and label it as pro kannada he also said that their, their priority was to look after the welfare of kannadigas bjp on the other hand took a dig at the congress government after it put the bill on hold saying that the party suffers from massive confusion well this is as far as the karnataka is concerned remember yesterday there was a draft bill uh, and uh, we heard uh, uh, there was a post by the chief minister as well on his social media which he later deleted and now that draft bill that mandated uh, 50% reservation in management position and 75% reservation in uh, non management position for the kannadigas that has now been put on hold and we heard the backlash coming from bharatiya janata party as well as most importantly from uh, the uh, industry leaders there because uh, karnataka especially especially uh, the uh, bangalore is called the silicon valley of india and there are a lot of companies there after this draft bill uh, was uh, spoken about there was a lot of backlash from them and uh, it was the assertion by the industries that this would harm and in fact the hiring should be uh, on the basis of the skills and not reservation especially in the private sector and after that we heard uh, that this draft bill has now been put on hold but remember the draft bill was met with vehement opposition from both the top industry voices mohan das pai the chairman of the rn capital said that the bill is regressive and discriminatory kiran mazumdar shaw who's the executive chairman of bicon stressed that uh, the bill should uh, not impact karnataka's position as the leader in technology now the tech industry apex lobby which is the, the nascom the national association of software and service companies also expressed its disappointment and called the provisions of the bill deeply disturbing while urging the state government to withdraw it the body said that the employment laws could not uh, be forced upon the companies and this would in fact lead them to in fact relocate have you heard of anything draconian and totalitarian like this and then they say that for every enterprise which has got more than 100 people they're going to have a government official sitting on the recruitment committee section 8 how can you do this you can't reserve anything in the private sector there's no discrimination against anybody in karnataka all enterprises will invite people they will see whether you're capable you're skilled and they will hire you they don't care who you are they don't look at the gender you can be male female or anything they don't look at it they don't look where you come from keeping such restrictions uh, will only ultimately end in uh, stopping all infrastructure projects and uh, the industries also will be closed if such uh, compulsions uh, are imposed on the infrastructure and industries Well, as far as uh, Karnataka is concerned, on the other hand, we're uh, hearing the reactions coming from Andhra Pradesh and also Kerala, which have uh, in fact now tried to woo the Bangalore tech firms, inviting them to their uh, states. Uh, we heard the reactions uh, coming from Nara Lokesh. He said that uh, the state government will provide the best-in-class facility, infra, and the most suitable skill talent to the tech uh, industries. And uh, moreover, Kerala also emphasised that the industries from Karnataka 
should in fact relocate to the state of Kerala and the similar thing was said uh, by uh, Andhra as well. Uh, so what they're saying is that they will provide the best in class facilities, infra and a skilled talent with no government restriction at all and that is why uh, these tech companies should not opt for Karnataka anymore and they should shift from Karnataka towards the state of Andhra Pradesh and also Kerala. They go, went on to say in fact the top leaders of Karnataka uh, Kerala as well as Andhra Pradesh said that leave Karnataka, come to us. And this is a pitch from these two states to the tech leaders asking them to, in fact, uh, shift, uh, to, uh, shift from Karnataka to the state of Andhra as well as uh, Karnataka. Now, we're